guys, Chef Watcher coming to you live and direct, and today we're talking about my top five Dior Remugla fragrances. Let's get into it. Now, I have a love hate relationship with Dior Remugla as far as fragrances go. On the love side of things, I mean, they have some solid offerings. Um, their catalog is one of the best out there as far as designers go, and, um, and yeah, you get a lot of great value for your money. You can find them at a great price too. Now, on the hate side of things, the original Amen uh, came out when I was like, what, six years old? Now I'm a grown man with a full beard and they're still releasing flankers of that. And I mean, they've released a lot of flankers. Um, in between that, they're doing Mughal Cologne there, but it seems like creatively they're just stuck without one DNA and they're just, they just keep on remixing it. I personally would like to see them do something new, but again, I guess they found a winning formula and what makes them money, so I can't knock that. But I mean, maybe they could go far left with the notes and do something different, but that's neither here nor there. So with that being said, let's get into the list. Let's kick things off with an honorable mention, and this goes to Mugla Cologne. Now, this right here has notes of Neroli, Bergamot, um, there's another floral in there, I forget, Orange Blossom, I believe, and it has, um, it has a base of um, some musk. Now, this is it's a safe scent, soapy, very clean. It works in all situations, all seasons, personally, I think. And um, yes, you can wear this with a suit, wear it casually. It performs best in the summertime, spring and summertime. The performance of this is lackluster. I think it's an eau de cologne, I'll have to check to confirm. But yes, performance isn't the greatest. Now, it does smell a bit like Creed's original vetiver. This came out first. Original vetiver is much more full body, more, uh, much more richer, I think, has more depth. But still, this is great nonetheless. So honorable mention goes to Move Look Alone. Coming in at number five, we have the original Amen. The one that started it all, the OG. Now, this right here, you get this lovely caramel note in there. Some coffee, patchouli. I mean, this is great, works great in, um, in the colder months, but I like the other flankers better. So yes, we have this at number five, the original Amen. At number four, we have Pure Tonka. Now, this has notes of coffee, tonka bean, Vanilla, I mean, all of these notes come together to form this nice creamy, um, nice creamy cappuccino-like smell. Very, very gorgeous, very suitable for the fall right now. So yes, at number four, we have Pure Tonka. At number three, we have Ultra Zest, one of my favorites in the summertime. Now, what they did with this was, um, they took the original Amen DNA and they threw notes of, um, blood orange, tangerine, ginger over the top of that. And the result is amazing. They end, you end up with this nice, um, orange creamsicle like scent from the vanilla in there and the citruses this is great in the summertime performance is a beast it's a nice citrusy gourmand like scent um performance is a beast on this and um yes compliment factor is great too one of my favorites in the summertime so yes number three we have ultra zest at number two we have pure hervain this is honey this is tobacco over the original amen dna i do get a cherry note in this but it is enlisted but yes this is a great one in the colder months, I mean fall and winter. You definitely got to get your nose on this and try it. This is highly rated for a reason. Um, so yes, number two, we have Pure Hervain. Actually, um, between my number two and number one, they, they switch all the time depending on how I'm feeling. But at the moment, I have this at number two. So yes, Pure Hervain at number two. Coming in at number one, we have Pure Malt. Now this is a lovely, boozy, masculine scent. Um, this opens up a fruity note. But right away you get this whiskey like scent in there um, with the malt and um, yeah you have some woody notes in there too so this is a very very beautiful masculine scent again this is um, cold weather scent I just sprayed it actually so yes yeah this is very gorgeous beautiful at the moment this is my favorite um, at the moment this is my favorite but like I said between this and pure Havane it changes all the time because depends how I'm feeling but yeah sometimes I'm feeling the tobacco note at the moment I like the booziness in this it has a nice masculine vibe to it and I enjoy it a lot so, so that's it for my top five theory removal of fragrances my name is Jesse Abwaji once again thank you very much for watching don't forget to like this video share it subscribe to my channel just show me love until next time